Please subscribe this channel. The Coupe, the real, two-door variety, is alive and well at Mercedes-Benz. The latest evidence is the redesigned two-door now joining the new W213 generation E-Class lineup to bring the middle child in step with its C and S-Class siblings. At first glance, you could be forgiven for confusing this new E-Class for its stablemates, given the flowing design language shared by all three. That's not a dig, as the E-Class preserves much of the beauty of the larger S-Class despite its slightly shrunken proportions. While the familiar front end with its diamond grille is hardly groundbreaking, the E-Class Coupe's clean body sides and B-pillar less side glass combine with an uncluttered rear end to make for a beautifully smooth profile. Creating Space Moving away from the C-Class derived underpinnings of the previous E-Class Coupe, the new E-Coupe now shares more with the E-Sedan, widening the size gap between it and the smaller model. Riding on a 4.4-inch longer wheelbase, the new coupe is 5 inches longer overall, 3 inches wider, and an inch and a half taller than its predecessor, and its 190.0-inch length now neatly splits the difference between the 184.5-inch C-Class and the 197.9-inch S-Class. Mercedes says that rear seat room increases commensurately, with the two individual chairs back there providing better leg and headroom than before. The engine lineup for the US market also seems poised to put some distance between the E and the C-Class. While the E300 sedan available on our shores shares its turbocharged four-cylinder with the C300, the two-door E will be offered only as an E400. As it does on the E-Class wagon, this moniker signifies a standard twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6 making 329 horsepower and 354 pounds to foot of torque. This same engine was installed in the previous E400 coupe, but a new 9-speed automatic transmission replaces the previous 7-speed for improved acceleration and improved fuel economy, claims Mercedes. Rear-wheel drive and 4MATIC all-wheel drive versions will be offered and Mercedes says the RWD E400 gets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds, 0.9 second quicker than the company's claim for the outgoing model. Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.